<laughs> have you seen snow before you come here? Yeah, when I played in France. That was oh, the only time yeah. I played in France. So. Les Ignon, tell yeah. us about how that came about. Oh, long story. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, I uh, pretty much lost the love for the game and just getting treated uh, playing rugby league over in Oz, New South Wales Cup. And all day I would work driving a truck to live in Jib Rock with your mates. It's, it was pretty good, like, because you work with your mates and just the harder you work, the quicker you get out of there, pretty much. But then um, going to training and then after that, sometimes you have to go to a night shift working behind the bar and stuff like courtesy bus driver. I didn't mind that. You get some stragglers, just pull over and get out of the bus. And they won't mess around you because of how big you were and stuff yeah. like that. I said, yeah, sweet. But um, an opportunity come over there and they said, yeah, do you want to join? join? I spoke to my wife and I said, we had a little one then, crew. And as she said, yeah, let's go travel. So we just played footy over there and just traveled around Spain and France and then Grew to love the game again. Yeah, I found the love for the game. It just, it just made me so happy. And then ended up re-signing before I went back to Oz. They said, do you want to stay? And I said, yeah, I'll stay. And pretty much gave me like, yeah, extra money and re-signed. Got home, got off the plane and had a, someone waiting for me at the airport. And they said, yeah, I'll take you a meeting with Melbourne Storm. I said, oh, wow, this is great. <laughs> <laughs> pretty much. And then my brother goes, you're not going for a meeting. Yeah, wait, wait. And then... And, he took me to Shane Flanagan at Sharks. He goes, you want a job Monday? You got a job Monday? And I said, it's all happened so fast. You just got to play and leave me alone. I just want to relax for a sec. 